Welcome to the party. Everybody on the floor. Baby girl, touch those toes. We like to, we like to, we like to party. Uh, mama, shake it just a little bit. Drop it low with a little twist. <laughs> Let me know if you're feeling this. And you can get it out real quick. Uh, I'ma always be faithful. I'm a dog, but I tell it to your face, bro. Let me know what you say for. I got a bedroom game. We can burn a little weight, too. Welcome to the party. Everybody on the floor. Hi, welcome to Body Combat. My name's Rach. I'm Dan. The best way to start your body combat journey is to learn the moves. Now, there's a common theory that you have to be coordinated to do body combat, and that's simply not true. There's a vocabulary of moves that starts here, and we're gonna teach you them. Yeah, and because body combat is our mixed martial arts-based program, We've got lots of options and modifications, so look out for them, tailor each exercise to suit you, and then you have an opportunity to really give it a go. So let's learn some of those strikes. Let's begin. So join us right now. We're just going to take you through two of the most common stances that you'll see with inside a body combat workout. The first one being what we call our front stance. You take your feet wider than your shoulders. Do that now. Your knees are soft, chest is up, abs are brace, and your hips are square. And we transfer our weight from side to side. Now we throw a lot of strikes from this position, whether it's upper body strikes, lower body strikes, we get out the way, we move from side to side. So this is a really good foundation. It's our anchoring move, the front stance. The second stance is you can do this on both sides. We'll just show you from one to begin with, is what we call combat stance. You take a little L shape with your feet. Go ahead, now shimmy back. (laughs) <laughs> Good, and that back foot you slightly turn out so the weight is now forward and back and it's up and down. Your arms are relaxed, we call this a combat stance, all right? Let's try that on the other side. Switch. Good, switch, go. Switch, go. Front stance, go. Awesome, so there we go. They're your two most common stances. All right, if you don't have a stance, you don't have a chance. Now you've got a stance. Boy, do you have a chance. Let's learn some strikes. Let's do it. The, the two key punches, jabs and crosses. So a jab is done in front stance. A cross comes from combat stance. So let's go into right combat stance. Put your right foot forward and let's learn these two moves. First of all, you need a boxing guard. So pop your hands up, bring your fingers down, your thumb on the outside, and then suck your elbows into the rib cage and your knuckles hover around the jaw height. This is called boxing guard. Once you've got boxing girl, you can throw some punches. And the first move, the jab, comes off the front leg. So you're going to aim with the big knuckle, and then you're going to strike a target that is directly in front of you. So pick on someone your own size, all right? So <laughs> unless you're tall like me. You get it? <laughs> He's not biting. Damn it. OK, so we're going to throw the jab off the front arm. Big knuckle, straight out in front of you, nose, lip, and chin. Jab. Shh. Again, jab. Shh. So this is the jab, it goes straight out and it comes straight back. Nice and soft at the elbow, transferring the weight from the back to the front. So does the cross come off the back arm? Sure does, because it comes across the body. Same, use the big knuckle, same target. Nose, lip and chin, cross, bang. Rechamber, cross, rechamber. Okay, when you throw punches, throw them to stay loose. And then at the very last second, squeeze the punch at the end of the target. Jab and cross. That's your jab cross. Awesome. So another two strikes we'll learn now is the uppercuts and the hooks. Staying in your combat stance, these ones are great. The uppercuts. Now you can throw uppercuts off the front or the back arm. So let's do this together. Throw it off the front arm and the first thing we do is this. Staying in our stance, knees bent, abs brace now. So imagine someone was going to and you would deflect it. Yep. This is going to really do wonderful things for your trunk and it gives a lot of power. It helps you generate power. So from braced ab position, this back shoulder, bring it towards your front knee. You got that? Now you're loaded and we've rotated and then we strike directly up. It's our one and only vertical strike. Let's do that again. Relax. So we lean in, come up and under. And so ultimately, we want the fist no higher than the line of the chin and the forearm sits in line with the middle of the chest. So that's the front arm. Off the back arm, you reverse it. So your front shoulder comes forward and then you come up and under. But the difference now is take a look at the foot. Because we rotate off the back, that hip, heel, knee, foot all has to rotate inwards, all right? So let's try off the front arm. We come up and now the back, up. And then let's just do a few in your own time. Let's go. Doesn't matter if you're with us. Just move and notice what happens with your shoulders 
and your trunk, we start doing what we call a figure of eight. We come up, under. Now hold. Here's a key thing. When we move slow, you will have releasing of the feet position. But when we have tracks, power tracks, when we move a little bit faster and it's really exciting, we have less movement boom, downstairs and we really focus on the shoulders, the back and the core muscles again, all right? So there are your uppercuts. The hooks, it's our circular strike. Bend at the elbow, show us your biceps. Are you Put sure yours you away. Me to, Put yours away. So we want a nice right angle here and we come around on what we call a circular plane. And so the elbow sits just in line with the shoulders and the elbow just slightly higher in the line of the wrist and our stopping point is if you're wearing a watch, you stop in line with the middle of the face, all right? We come around, off the back arm, boom, off the front arm, and just notice what happens. The shoulders turn, the hips turn, the knees turn, the feet releases, and now we're pivoting on the balls of the feet. Yep, big power shots. These are short range, circular strikes, the hooks, Doof, boom. And the thing I love about the hooks is when you do it in a masterclass, the music builds. And when the music builds, usually a power move, bam, like a hook, really comes in and you will feel and look amazing. So there we have it. We had the jabs, the cross, the uppercuts, and the hook. Boom, there we go. So why don't you give it a go? I just wanna see y'all pump it up. Okay, so let's get into moving with the music. Let's go. Combat stance, right foot forward, boxing guard, and pulse forward and back. Jump up on your toes. A good stance gives you a good chance to so keep a nice little distance. Hands up by your face. We're gonna throw some punches. One jab, one cross, and nothing. Jab, cross, and pulse. Right arm, left arm. So your target's right out in front of you. Big knuckle to nose. A little bit of shoulder rotation. And notice how these punches happen with the rhythm. Low body moving. Heart rate going. That's one. Here comes a new punch. Uppercut, right lift. So we go right, lift. So you're going vertical underneath the boxing bag. If you can imagine one, four, three, two. All right, we're gonna get in some hook. One on the right, one on the left. And now hold. Awesome, so you remember that circular strike? We want to keep a right angle at the elbow and naturally let the shoulder, the hip and the feet turn with us. And we do that with breath. Breathe out, out. And then tuck your chin and do it again. Shoo, shoo. Feels awesome, right? Keep it coming. Now there's only one more and we're going to move on. Okay, let's jab cross and two uppercuts. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, and nothing. There's four moves. Right, left, right, left, and breathe. A little bit of shoulder movement, bit of energy in the house. Up and under. Okay, let's bring a full combo together. Jab, cross, uppercut, four hooks. Four, three, two, let's go. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, four, three, bring the hooks in. One more time, now you're getting that combination into the body. Four hooks, turn your heels. Come on, you've still got two more. Now this time, try and reach, especially on the cross, to let the heel unwind. You ready? One more, go. Reach, bow. Now counting backwards, five, four, three, now freeze, boom. Woo. All right, let's do it all on the other side. Put your left foot forward, hands up, and pulse forward and back. How's that feeling? Successful, right? Just relax your shoulders. Great punches are thrown from relaxed shoulders. Oh yeah. One jab, one cross, and nothing. Nothing. That's your lead arm for the jab, and your cross come in across the body. It's got a little bit further to move. Now catch that rhythm. The fire is burning. And the heat is rising in this workout. Sit down on that punch by bending your knees and go long and strong. Okay, second time around, uppercut, left, right, left, right. Now notice the music's helping you roll the shoulders, kind of like a figure eight. So drive it under, you're doing well too. Oh, we're gonna get back into the push. All right, come on, one on the left, one on the right. Oh, nothing. 
So think of this second round as more about power training. Because once you know it, you then get to experience how to show it. So shoulder, hip, everything turns together. And now do it with a little more force and just see uh, what that feels like, okay? Just one more time. It feels like a combo. One jab, one cross, and two uppercuts. Did you catch that? That's my kind of combo. Four moves, straight out in front, under. Now those uppercuts require that shoulder rotation. Let's go, let's go long, strong, up and under. That fire. Hello, I'm back. Full combo, out on the hooks. Two upper, four hook. Left, right, left, let's go. Jab, cross, yeah. Now you're really getting the music and the punches. Really getting into it. Let's go. Is it feeling good? Yeah, yeah. same as us. All right, so we've got the last two. Because it's the last two, this is where we encourage you to really start pushing forward. So you fill in the shoulders, fill in the back, fill in the abs, go. Counting backwards, last five, four. Now finish with a big one, go. Did you get it? Yeah, good work. So there you have it. That was your body combat tutorial. If you want to see some more, check out Les Mills Plus. <laughs>